Can you tell us any more about Dora and, and the time you were there? One thing that really impressed me and uh, made me think uh, was I tried to, uh, when I was working those instrument panels, I did hit them a little bit because they couldn't really realize uh, that there was anything wrong with the instrument till the rocket was fired. And if I was lucky, the thing went to Berlin and, and didn't go to London, but uh, I, I never knew, and they didn't know either if it was sabotaged or just defective and so on. But the rockets were covered with a, the with a skin, the, the body, after all, and uh, those were riveted. Those rivets are explosive rivets. They have a little bit of uh, uh, black powder in it, and when they get heated, they blow up, and then they rivet things together. Well, somebody in there sabotaged those rivets, and they knew it. And one morning, I came in the thing, and here was the whole night shift of, of, of riveters hanging. They just lined them up, took a railroad, a piece of railroad tie, which is uh, maybe 50 feet long, attached it in the middle, put the noose around everybody's neck, and then just with a conveyor belt, they just lifted them. They had them hanging there for about three days. So kind of a deterrent for the other people. And that happened actually uh, why we could hear at a distance the American guns. Happened just a few days before. Uh, those rockets wouldn't have been fired anymore anyhow, but uh, well, they did it. And you were telling us that, that you were able to do a bit of sabotage? Well, I, I would just bang them up a little bit, and then I, uh, one experience was with my, my capo there, the, the murderous uh, sea captain. I was making out of a piece of a vinadur. Vinadur is, uh, they didn't have really a plastic uh, uh, at that time. What they had was linen and fish glue that got heated and pressed at uh, so many tons per square inch, and that made it solid, but it would insulate, uh, it, it, current wouldn't go through. And out of a piece, I was making a piece of jewelry for my mother. And the guy comes, suddenly there is a guy looking over my shoulder, and it was a, a Luftwaffe, which was a German Air Force uh, officer. And he looks at me, and he looks at that, and he grabs me by the ear, and he pulls me up the steps to the loft where the capo was, and he throws the, the, the thing on, uh, on a, uh, on a uh, desk, desk there and say, you know anything about it? And he looks up, he looks at him, he looks at me, and then bang, and I flew all the way across. I thought my t head came off. Lucky I, I didn't have too much weight, so the whole thing w went fairly easy. And I played possum. I wasn't really knocked out, but I, I thought that my, it was cracked or something. But I, so th that made the, the guy happy. He, he didn't know if I was dead or not, so he, he walked away, and then I came to, and the guy, um, later on, he said, what the hell uh, uh, did you make? Oh, I made it for my mother, he said. Well, uh, uh, he throws it on my, my d desk where I was working, he said, keep your bad luck charm or something like that. So he knew he had to show the other well, officer. Oh, he had to show, sure. After all, he was supposed to. And I actually made cigarette holders for, for, for some uh, uh, private, uh, uh, um, for civilian out of uh, equipment too. But he knew about it. And uh, they asked him first if I could make them, and I made the cigarette holders, and then he would wind up with extra cigarettes. 